If you have aches and pains in your knees, especially from walking, from going downstairs, well then guess what? There's one muscle that you should be strengthening and nobody ever works this muscle out. Hey there, I'm Coach Tyler from We Shape, where our goal is to help you feel better in your body. And if you have aches and pains in your knees, then guess what? The muscle I'm about to introduce you to is a muscle that you are going to want to strengthen. Now this is really important because this muscle helps do things like decelerate motion while you're running or walking, and also helps you go downstairs slowly and with control so you don't end up hurting your knees. So, what is this muscle? What should you be strengthening? And how should you be doing it? Well, I'll show you exactly what to do in this video. And to start, the muscle I'm talking about is this muscle right here. This muscle is called the tibialis anterior. And like I said, when it's strong, it supports your knee, especially in those activities like decelerating motion. But most people never, ever, ever strengthen this muscle. The good news is I'm gonna show you three variations of some movements, a beginner variation, an intermediate variation, and an advanced variation that you can use to strengthen this muscle from the comfort of your own home. Let's dive into the beginner variation. Okay, this variation is for people who are complete beginners, and it's gonna help strengthen these muscles right here on the front sides of your shins. It's a very simple movement, but we wanna work on building that mind-muscle connection with these muscles before going to intermediate and advanced variations. So to do this movement, it's very simple. All you have to do is sit in a chair. You can either straighten your legs or you can keep your legs bent. Whichever one gives you more muscle activation and more muscle recruitment, meaning you can squeeze the muscle harder. From there, all you're gonna do is sit nice and tall and then lift your toes to your nose as much as you can, firing those muscles right there on the front sides of your shins. Hold for a second and then drop your feet and relax. And then lift your toes to your nose again, fire those muscles, hold for a second and then drop and relax. And you're gonna do this until you start to get a pump in those muscles on the front sides of your shins. For most people, this could be anywhere between 30 to 90 seconds. Once you get that pump and it starts to feel like that muscle's working, go ahead and rest and you can repeat this movement up to two times a day, again, to build that mind-muscle connection with these muscles that we're trying to strengthen to protect the knees. Now, if this feels too easy for you and you're able to do it for a full 90 seconds and you're really able to feel the squeeze on the front sides of your shins, then next, let's go to the intermediate variation. Okay, for the intermediate variation of this movement, you're gonna wanna have a nice sturdy wall. And what you're gonna do is start by bringing your foot, feet about one foot away from the wall. From there, you're gonna slowly lean your body back against the wall like this and place your palms facing out like this. And the goal is to have nice tall posture as you do this movement. Now from there, you're gonna lift your toes towards your nose, just like we did before, until you feel those muscles firing. And then you're gonna come all the way back down, tap the toes and repeat. You're gonna repeat this movement over and over again for the same duration of time until you get that nice pump all the way through the front sides of your shins like this. Now, again, that might be 30 to 90 seconds, but you wanna practice this move every day, at least once a day, to try and really build that mind-muscle connection and strengthen these muscles that support your knees. Now, you can make this movement easier by bringing your feet back closer to the wall and repeating the movement, or you can make it harder by bringing your feet further away from the wall. The further they are, the harder it is. The further back it is, the easier it is. Now, once you're able to do this for a full 90 seconds with good form, feeling those muscles firing properly, then you can move on to the advanced variation. Hey, before we get to the advanced variation, if you want more moves like this to help you feel good in your entire body, then you gotta try WeShape. All you have to do is click the link below and take our free quiz and we'll build you a personalized workout plan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for the advanced variation, once you're able to do the last variation for a full 90 seconds with good form, feeling those muscles working extra hard, you can take this movement that you just did and transfer it over to one leg. So I'll show you how to do it. First, again, start against the wall. You're gonna bring your whole back against the wall, palms in front of you, nice tall posture. Now, you're gonna make sure that that foot is right in the middle of your body. So don't just lift one foot and start tipping to the side. Put that foot right in the center of your body. If you look down, it should come right underneath your belly button and your nose, all in one line. Now from there, you're gonna lift the other foot. You can keep it out to the side if you need to for support. And then you're gonna lift your toes towards your nose again, squeeze that muscle and come back down. And repeat, toes to the nose again, squeeze the muscle and come back down. And the further you are away from the wall, the harder this is gonna be. The closer you are towards the wall, the easier this movement will be. Same thing, you can work towards getting up to the point of doing 30 to 90 seconds on your right leg and then repeat with your left leg as well. And if you can do this, 
you have strengthened that muscle and you will feel so much better in your daily movements because it will be supporting your needs.